What's up guys, Squinces? So this is the fourth tutorial um, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really nice simple material in Cinema 4D and trying to be more unique and different um, to make your background stand out. So um, you just want to open Cinema 4D with a logo setup already. So as you can see, I've rendered this with a just a clean stone texture. Um, if you're not sure um, how to make a logo setup, I have got a tutorial out for that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just make a really simple material to go on top of this. Um, but it's going to be, well, more vibrant. So you just want to double click down here to make a new material. Double click on the material. And you just want to change the color to black. We're not going to add the texture to this just yet. We'll just set up the material first. Um, now you want to go down to bump. Make sure that's ticked and you want to leave that on 20% like so and you want to go down to specular you want it to be on 40% hit enter and then 30% hit enter and then 2% like so, and in a shadow is fine on zero. Now it's going to go down to glow as well, hit that. And you want inner strength to be 15. And then zero for outer strength. Seven for radius. Zero for random. It already is. And one for frequency. Um, now that's about done, we're just going to find a texture. If you go on the internet and search technology or binary texture, whatever kind of texture you want, I really like these because they're more like technology, like standout, um, and yeah, binary is really nice as well. Um, you can get some really nice textures on here. Um, try and avoid ones, for example, like this, because they have been cut off the side you're basically adding the image lots of times onto the logo render and um, if the sides are cut off it will just look out of place so I already have one um, which is this one now I'm just going to add this one into the material so you want to go to color and click texture three dots at the end and you just want to select your um, texture wherever you saved it now you just want to hit yes and you want to go to mix strength and make sure that that's on. Well, you can kind of mess around with it, but I'm going to leave it on around 60 to 80. So I'll put it about 73. That's fine. Now, um, the material is basically done. You just want to drag this on whatever ones you want. So I'm just going to drag it on the two top ones. So that one and that one. Ooh. Okay. So we've now got the... Um, material on the top now as you can see you might not be able to see the texture so you just want to click well we'll delete um, one and you just want to be on the main one that you can see make sure you've clicked on the material on the right hand side and you want to go down here and change UV M, UVW mapping to cubic and you want to mess around with these settings so it's not too pixelated but um, you haven't got lots on at once so if you just change these like length u changes the size of it and you want to make sure length u and v are the same so the image isn't stretched so like that and you can change offset that moves it along moves it up tiles you can just mess around with this um, whatever looks best for your logo so um, as you can see my texture wasn't the best because you can see cut off points but that's alright and you just want to hold command and drag it down to the other one and you've got two textures the same and I'll just render this out and we'll see what it looks like okay so it's now rendered um, as you can see the lighting is pretty terrible but um, apart from that the texture looks quite nice what I mentioned about the sides being cut off um, as you can see there's a slight line there but um, if you experiment with different textures adding different ones in maybe adding more reflection to it kind of mess around with it and it can look really really nice although that doesn't look the best if um, I did render that out and put it in Photoshop with some color correction um, make it the logo a little bit darker but bring out the blue more that can look really really nice so although it might not look very nice in 
Cinema 4D, it can look really, really nice in Photoshop. Once you've um, added some layer styles to it and things like that, like color corrections. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. I'm just trying to encourage people to be uh, more original using, well, trying out different things, not just using normal textures that everyone has. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave a like and some feedback. If you didn't like it, tell me why. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and all that. That's in the description. Also, um, I'm free now, so if you want to order anything, um, there's an order form on my channel. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Squints. I'll see you later.